I've got the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 right here. And in today's video, I want to show you how to temporarily boot a custom recovery. In this video, I'm going to be using the alpha build of TWRP that is currently available for the Redmi Note 10. And because it is an early alpha build, one of the issues that's not currently working right is the repacking which means that if you try to flash this recovery image to the phone with fastboot then it's going to have issues now we're still able to use this build of twrp even though it is an early build the developer says uh, the touch screen is currently working, ADB currently working, is currently working, flashing zip files currently works, accessing the SD card and USB over the uh, OTG is currently um, working, and decryption is currently working. So a lot of stuff does currently work in this early alpha build, but again, repacking does not. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to temporarily boot a custom recovery using fastboot instead of actually flashing or installing a custom recovery to a device. This is something I've actually been doing for a while now. I've avoided flashing or installing uh, a custom recovery on my phone for a number of reasons, but mainly due to the way it complicates installing over the air updates but again there are many reasons why you're not going to want to mess with the boot partition after you've already got it set up with things like Majisk. So to begin we need to get the phone into fast boot mode so we're going to need to shut down the phone. Now boot. moving into fast boot mode is going to be a bit different depending on the phone or tablet you're currently using for Xiaomi devices, it's usually the power and volume down buttons. But you can also do the ADB reboot bootloader command as well. So whatever custom recovery image file you are going to be temporarily booting, we're going to need to copy and paste that or just move that file into the same folder as your ADB and fastboot tools. So it needs to be in the same folder as those ADB and Fastboot EXE files. And then we're going to need to open up a command prompt in that same folder. Now usually it's also easier to go ahead and rename that file. We can do that by slow two-clicking on the name or Sometimes it's better to just go into the properties section right here and rename it this way because not everybody has file extensions enabled on Windows. So we're just going to name it something easy like twrp.img, maybe recovery.img. It doesn't matter what you name the file, just remember that name. And whenever we open up a command prompt, again, we're opening up a, either a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal in the same folder as that file and our ADB and Fastboot files. And if you want, you can type out the command Fastboot space devices to make sure your smartphone or tablet shows up properly. If not, could be a USB driver or a USB cable or a USB port related issue. But once that fastboot detects it, then we're going to be typing out the command fastboot space boot and then that file name. So remember twrp.img in the same folder as our fastboot exe file. So here we are telling the fastboot exe file that we want to boot 
this image file instead of the, what is currently installed on the boot partition. So let's look back at the phone. Again, we're typing out the command fastboot space boot space the file name. We're going to press enter on the keyboard. It's going to download that file to the phone and you're going to see that. It's going to say downloading the boot image to the phone and then it's going to say booting that file. You should get an OK message on both and you should see your smartphone not only reboot but also instantly boot you into that image file which in this case was TWRP. Since we did not flash this file with fastboot, we only booted the file, TWRP is not currently installed on our device. We have only temporarily booted into it. So you can see the advantage here is we have access to all of the features while we are still preserving our either our stock recovery or the custom recovery that we have that we have previously installed on the device because you can use this to test out new updates to a custom recovery you can use this to test out a new custom recovery entirely and the one reason I use it for is to create backups without actually installing the custom recovery which can sometimes mess up installing over-the-air updates. So since this is not installed, if we rebooted into recovery, we would actually be rebooting back into the AOSPA recovery that we have previously installed. So we can always boot back into fastboot mode and issue that same command if we want to create a backup, restore from a backup, maybe we want to flash a modification really quickly, all without fully installing TWRP. And not only while preserving our Android operating system, but also preserving the recovery partition, sometimes the boot partition. So that is how to temporarily boot a custom recovery using the fast boot boot command.